was made aware that this one has been sold, so I won't be doing any tattooing. <laughs> no neck bending either. <laughs> So this guitar, this is a small jumbo model, and it has really lovely redwood for the top. That's correct, right? Yeah, yes. Redwood. Um, really striking example too, because it's got such tight grain. And if you look at it in different lights, you can really see this silking. It's like almost holographic. And uh, I love redwood because it does a thing that is really unique. Um, cedar and spruce can be very variable. Not very variable. It can have a lot of different behaviors. I mean, redwood can too, but redwood does a thing that so, sort of sits in between like the compression of cedar and the, the bright, very sensitive touch and the really um, sturdy behavior of spruce. Redwood sit, kind of sits right in the middle, and that's a very, um, some of you probably have heard that before. I, I find it very true, and um, because of the way it behaves, it can really deliver this sort of singing quality to the trebles. And, that's something that I see, especially in the ones that are paired with uh, walnut. This is a really lovely set of Bastogne walnut, which is a hybrid walnut, uh, European, and uh, Claro walnut. Claro tends to look like this, but it doesn't usually have that really beautiful pale orange stripe in there. So this, <clears throat> this is really like some of the nicest wood I've ever seen, period. Um, it's got snake wood trim and a mahogany neck. So all in all, it's, uh, you know, I could probably just sit here and just spin it for you guys for the next 12 minutes, and uh, we'd probably be happy. Um, this also has a elevated fingerboard, so again, that helps with the setup and keeps it really straight. Um, lets the action be pretty low and uh, playable, I like that a lot. And um, yeah, 12 fret to body as well, so. And you do what appears to be a, um, Magnetic yes. truss rod cover. Is yes. that one the same thing for the other one? Yes, same thing. Yes, That's my standard nowadays. Yeah. That's awesome. So if you're ever at a gig and you need to make a quick adjustment, you don't have to just yeah. unstring it. Right? It's better to remove the strings or at least remove the tension oh. and uh, spread them out before yeah. removing the cap. But yeah, yeah, yeah. So really lovely. And um, probably a few tunes for you. Thank you. 
Orchestral OM model from Blake Bushrow Guitars. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.